Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will learn the steps for multiplying and dividing fractions. This video is designed as an overview, so if you need more examples to practice, check out the links to our other videos in the description below. We'll start with multiplying fractions, and let's go through the steps before we look at our examples. Any whole number and mixed number that you have in your problem, you need to turn those into improper fractions. Then you'll multiply the numerators, which will become your numerator. You'll multiply the denominators, which will become your denominator. And then if the product is an improper fraction, you'll want to turn it into a mixed number if needed. And then you'll want to simplify your product if needed. Let's take a look at our multiplication examples. For our first example, we have 1 half times 6 sevenths, and our steps were to start with the numerators and multiply our numerators together. So our numerators are 1 and 6. 1 times 6 is 6, so 6 becomes the numerator in our product. Then we look at our denominators, and we're going to multiply our denominators. So our denominators are 2 and 7. So 2 times 7 is 14, so 14 will become the denominator in our product. So now we have 6 fourteenths. We don't have an improper fraction, so we don't need to worry about that step, but we do need to simplify if we need to. 6 and 14 are both even numbers, so they share a common factor of 2, so I can simplify. So I'm going to take 6 and divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then I have 14 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So my final answer is 3 sevenths. For our next example, we have 3 times 4 fifths. Our whole number is in front, but our process is going to remain the same. We need to be able to multiply numerators and multiply denominators, which means that whole number needs to be in fraction form. And to turn our whole number into a fraction, remember we put it over 1. Then I highly suggest rewriting the problem so that your numerators are lined up and your denominators are lined up. So our whole number over 1, so it's a fraction. Then we have our numerators 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is 12. After multiplying our numerators together, we need to multiply our denominators together. 1 times 5. And 1 times 5 is 5. Now I have 12 fifths, and that is an improper fraction, so most of us are going to need to turn it into a mixed number, so let's go ahead and do that. Remember, if your teacher says to leave it as an improper fraction, you want to leave your answer as 12 fifths. So to turn our improper fraction into a mixed number, we divide our numerator by the denominator, which means the numerator of 12 goes on the inside, your denominator of 5 goes on the outside. So we have 12 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10, and when we subtract, we get 2. So for our answer, our quotient of 2 becomes our whole number. Our remainder of 2 becomes the numerator. And our denominator of 5 remains the same. Then we need to ask ourselves, do we need to simplify? Well, 2 and 5 don't share any common factors, so I don't need to simplify 2 fifths. So my final product is 2 and 2 fifths. In this example, we have a mixed number times a mixed number. And before you can start multiplying, the mixed numbers must be turned into improper fractions. So to turn our mixed number into an improper fraction, we're going to multiply the denominator times the whole number. 5 times 2 is 10. And then we're going to add our numerator. So 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 will become our new numerator. Our denominator of 5 will remain the same. Then we need to do the same thing to the 3 and 1 fourth. We're going to multiply our denominator times our whole number. So 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And then we're going to add our numerator. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 becomes our new numerator, and our denominator of 4 remains the same. 
So now we have a problem set up where we have a fraction times a fraction. So we're looking at numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. But first here, I see that 4 and 12 share a common factor of 4. So I'm going to do some simplifying before I continue on and multiply. So I can divide 4 by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And I can divide 12 by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So when I go to multiply, multiplying my numerators, I'm multiplying 3 times 13. And 3 times 13 gives me a new numerator of 39. And then I'll be multiplying my denominators, 5 and 1. So 5 times 1 gives me a denominator in my answer of 5. So now I'm at 39 fifths. If you can leave your answer as an improper fraction, you are done. Most of us will need to turn this into a mixed number. And we're going to do that by dividing our numerator by our denominator. So we're going to divide 39 by 5, which means the 39 needs to be inside. 5 needs to be on the outside. 39 divided by 5 is 7. 7 times 5 is 35. When we subtract 39 minus 35, we get 4. So when we write our mixed number, our quotient becomes our whole number. So the quotient of 7 becomes our whole number. The remainder 4 becomes our numerator. And our denominator of 5 remains the same. So we get a product of 7 and 4 fifths. And now for our division examples. Dividing fractions is very similar in that you need to make sure that your whole numbers and mixed numbers have been turned into improper fractions first. Then your steps for division are to leave the first fraction in the problem exactly the same. You'll change the division sign to multiplication, and you'll use the reciprocal of the second fraction. Then you'll simply follow the steps for multiplying fractions. Let's take a look at our examples. In this example, we have 2 sevenths divided by 3 eighths. So our first step is to look at the first fraction, the 2 sevenths. And 2 sevenths is going to stay exactly how it is. You're going to write it exactly how it is, no matter what this first fraction is. So as we show our work, we have 2 sevenths. The next thing that we're looking at is the division sign. And we're going to change that division sign to multiplication. Then we're going to look at the second fraction, the 3 eighths, and we're going to be multiplying by the reciprocal. And that means that our denominator becomes the numerator, the numerator becomes the denominator. Basically, we're flipping it over. So we're going to be multiplying by 8 thirds. Now that we have a multiplication problem set up, we're going to follow the steps for multiplying fractions. So numerator times numerator, 2 times 8 is 16. And then we'll multiply our denominators, 7 times 3. And 7 times 3 is 21. So we get 16 21 and we need to ask ourselves, can we simplify? Well, 16 and 21 don't share any common factors, so our final answer is 16 21 In this example, we have a whole number divided by a unit fraction. We have 6 divided by 1 fourth. And your first step is going to be with the 6, the whole number, you have to turn it into a fraction. And to turn a whole number into a fraction, we put it over 1. Then our division steps. That first fraction, whether it was a fraction or a whole number that we turned into a fraction, that first number stays exactly the same. So 6 over 1 is going to remain 6 over 1. Then our division sign. Our division sign, we're turning it into a multiplication sign. And we're multiplying by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. Our denominator becomes the numerator. And the numerator becomes the denominator. Now that we have our problem set up, we are multiplying fractions. So we have numerator times numerator, 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. And our denominator times denominator, 1 times 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And 24 over 1 simplifies to 24. So our final answer is our whole number 24. Now we have 2 ninths divided by 4. 
And our first step is to deal with our whole number. We have to turn our whole number into a fraction, and we do that by putting 4 over 1. Then we're going to look at our first number in our problem, the 2 ninths. 2 ninths has to stay exactly how it is. So 2 ninths, when we rewrite and show our work, will remain 2 ninths. Then our division sign, we're changing our division sign into a multiplication sign. And we are multiplying by the reciprocal of our second fraction. The reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 fourth denominator becomes our numerator and the numerator becomes our denominator. Now we're ready to take our multiplication steps. So numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. However, if you look closely, we have 2 and 4. 2 and 4 share a common factor of 2, so I can do some simplifying here before moving on. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now I have numerator times numerator, 1 times 1 is 1, and denominator times denominator, 9 times 2 is 18, for a final answer of 1 18th. In this example, we have 2 and 2 fifths divided by 3 and 1 third. And our first step is to turn our mixed numbers into improper fractions. And we're going to do that by multiplying the denominator times the whole number and then adding our numerators. So for 2 and 2 fifths, we're going to multiply 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. And then we're going to add our numerator. So 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 becomes our new numerator and our denominator of 5 remains the same. Then we're dividing by 3 and 1 third, which we also need to turn into an improper fraction by multiplying our denominator by our whole number. 3 times 3 is 9, then adding our numerator. 9 plus 1 is 10, and our denominator of 3 remains the same. So now that we've turned our mixed numbers into improper fractions, we're going to work the steps of dividing fractions. So we have 12 fifths divided by 10 thirds, and we're keeping the first fraction exactly the same. So 12 fifths remains 12 fifths. Then we're changing that division sign to a multiplication sign, and we're multiplying by the reciprocal of 10 thirds, which is 3 tenths. So the denominator becomes the numerator, and the numerator becomes the denominator. Now we're going to follow the steps for multiplying fractions, which is numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 12 times 3, 12 times 3 is 36. And then we're going to multiply denominators. 5 times 10, 5 times 10 is 50. And then we need to think about whether we need to simplify. Well, both of these numbers are even, so they share at least a common factor of 2. So we can simplify by dividing our numerator and denominator both by 2. So 36 divided by 2 is 18. 50 divided by 2 is 25. And we have no more common factors, so we are finished simplifying. So 18 25 is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.